we're going to run through making Tassari foam using some very simple equipment. We've obviously got the STD or STS, depending how you call it. A three-way tap where we remove the lower locks in preparation. We have some three millimeter uh, syringes, which have the screw top lower lock. You don't want to have the male end, which might slip out. This must have the screw into it so we can screw this into the three-way tap firmly and so the foam isn't going to go everywhere under pressure and then for the gas we have the larger five mil syringes so what we're going to do first of all is we're going to use a green needle 21 gauge and we're going to take one unit in this case it's going to be one mil of three percent STS or STD into the syringe and we're going to then put that firmly into the side of the three-way tap. We're going to just put a 5mm syringe and screw that into the other limb. And then we're going to turn it so that we have a straight through from the open end here into our gas syringe. Here we have our mixture of carbon dioxide and oxygen already under pressure, ready to go. We just flush out any air and we screw the whole assembly into that gas. We switch the gas on and we take out under control just four mils of gas. We switch it off there and then we also switch it off at this point so we can separate the Tassari syringes. At this point we have no air in the system and we just have carbon dioxide and oxygen here, four lots to one lot of sclerosant. We don't have this set on a three-way tap as a right angle but slightly off to increase the turbulence and then we do approximately 10 passes to make the foam, ending up in the larger syringe, taking it out, and there's our foam. When we come to inject it, we usually use a blue needle, and the foam itself then can come out of it like this without the foam being broken down. If the needle is too thin, then what ends up happening is the foam itself is broken down and comes out just as liquid sclerosant and gas.